Hey everybody, it's Craig Bechta here from craigbechta.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to do the splatter dispersion technique in Photoshop. Hey everybody, it's Craig Bechta and here we are, we're back in Photoshop. Alright, so here we have our model and I've already cut her out and put her on a white background. If you don't know how to do that, just go to my channel and look for a video on how to cut people out of the background. Also, if you want to see how I took this shot, I have a behind the scenes of this photo shoot. So also look for that on my channel. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is you look over here on the left and we have two shades of pink. I'm going to click the brush tool because I want to use the brush. I'm going to hit the D key and you can see that's turned to black or white. If I hit the X key, I now have white because that's going to come in handy. Now I want to show you how to create this background. Right now we have a white background. If I click the eyeball here on your right hand side, then we have nothing. So if I want to create a different color background or a white, I come down here to the lower right. I click on that. I have a new layer. Now I have these colors over here. So I have the white. So if I click Option or Alt on the PC and hit the Delete key, I fill that layer with white. Now if I wanted a different color, let's say, I can come and sample her dress. So let's say I wanted this shade. So this is my brush tool. I hit Option. I've sampled that color. If you look to your left, now it's pink. So Option Delete again or Alt Delete on the PC. And now we have a pink background. So I may use that. So what I want to do is put a mask on it for now. I click the Option or Alt on the PC right here. I've created a black mask. Now you can no longer see that pink layer. So I may need that. I'm not sure. All right, so now I'm at the top layer. Now I've already cut her out. And if you look up here, it's very small, but you can see I have a mask. So if I click on that mask, if I click Command or Control on the PC and click that, now she's highlighted. You can see the marching ants. So if I click Command J or Control J on the PC twice, now I have two versions of her. Now I'm going to click that and disable that. I'm going to disable that pink layer. And the only two layers that are active are now these two copies of her and the white layer. So just ignore everything else. So we're going to go to this first layer. And what I want to do is make it look like her dress is dispersing or splattering down. So I have to make her bigger. So I can use the liquify tool or I can click Command T or Control T on the PC. And now I've got her like this. So Command uh, minus or Control minus to make her smaller. And then if I hit the Shift key and drag this down, now you can see her dress is getting a lot longer. I'm just going to spread it out a bit here because we want to just extend it this way. We want to extend it this way. And I don't want her skin tones in there. So I just want to make sure this is big enough to do what I want it to do. Maybe we'll go up a bit. And that way we can just have pink all around her. And then I'm going to go down a little bit more like that. And that should have us covered. I think that's pretty good. All right. So I don't know what dress size that is anymore. <laughs> All right. So, okay. Now what I want to do is I want to click option and down here and put a mask on that layer. So now we don't see it, but we know it's there. So now I'm going to go up to the top layer. And what I want to do is put a white mask. So third in from the left, click on there. Now we have a white mask. So now what I want to do is get a splatter brush. Now I'm going to zoom in. So you can see a little better. And I want to sort of blur this line of where her dress ends so I can get that splatter technique happening. So in order to do that, I'm going to need black. So I have that set there. I'm going to come up to my brush tool and I'll just grab a splatter brush. And you can download these on the internet. And I'll probably put a link in the description below or you can check out another video. Um, now I'm going to click here. And what I can do is I can go to scattering and I can turn this. And you can see there's a little bit of tails there. I want the tails to kind of taper off in that downward motion. And I can also adjust the size of this brush by using my bracket keys. So I can make this a little smaller. So by painting in black, you should just see this turn white now. So I'm going to just use this brush and then I'm going to vary it up with a different brush. So I'll hit it one more time there. And I'm going to go to a different style. I'll go with the 926 brush. I'll hit scattering and I'll bring those tails down once again. And so I'll just sort of splatter that around. And I'm just trying to get this line between the white and her dress to kind of disappear a little bit. And I can vary the size of this brush. So make it a little smaller. And then we're just going to get different patterns because we don't want it to all look the same. And I'm going to vary it up again. I'm going to go with the 747 brush scattering. 
and I'll get those tails to go down again and then I'll just get this going here and then I'll probably change the size of this brush as well. All right, let's make it smaller and we'll just get the smaller blur patterns and we're almost there. So let me just vary it up again with one more brush. And I think what we'll do is we'll pick something smaller like this and then we'll go to scatter and we'll turn it so it's got a downward kind of motion and then we'll make this even smaller. So then we could have these kind of just little dots here and there that just kind of look different than what we're used to here. And I think I'll do one more brush and then we'll start bringing in the other color. So 747, let's put scattering, let's turn that this way and let's make this, actually we'll go bigger on this one. And then we'll just sort of vary it up. Now we can change all of this later. And I'll show you how to do that if we think we went too far. So I'm taking it too far on purpose. Okay, let's get rid of this brush here. And we're just gonna go to a soft brush. Now command, okay, now I've got way too much. So what I wanna do is I've got a white layer. If I paint in white, I'm at 100% opacity, 100% flow. Now I can just bring in some of the stuff where I felt like I went too far. So I don't want this splatter to affect her hands. I just want it to affect her dress. So I'm gonna bring this in too. I'm gonna to zoom in and I just wanna make sure I get this splatter off her legs too. So I'm just gonna make that a little smaller so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna kind of blur that line there when we get close to her dress there. I think I'll let a little bit of that show right there. I just wanna keep that splatter on the the edge of the dress there. All right, so that looks pretty good there. Just got a little bit on her hands, that's fine. So you can see now we've got some separation here with the dress. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down to that layer that we made larger, and we're gonna paint in white. We're gonna go back to one of our splatter brushes. We'll go to here again, 888. We'll put our scattering right here. We'll turn that down again. And then what we'll do is we'll just kind of bring in that other color now. So you can see here, I'm starting to, to bring in that splatter. Now what we can do too, is we can change the color. So if I want to, I can come over here, we'll just change different brushes. So let's just take a sample of her dress. So let's say we wanna go with a darker tone. I could say option and click on that. And I could create a new layer like we did before. I'll just drag that down below that layer we're working on. Option, delete and it fills it with that layer. And then I say option, click here. And so like I did before. So now in white, if I go back to a splatter brush, we can bring in a slightly different color that still belongs in her dress, but we can just paint that on there. So I have to be in white, D key, there we go. Now I can bring in that slightly different color, but we're also getting too much of the same pattern. So I wanna switch that up again. So we'll go back to this layer where she was expanded go back to the original color. And I just want to show you that, so hopefully you didn't get too confused by that. And then we'll vary this brush up. So I'm gonna make this brush bigger. And you can see her, her dress is really starting to kind of just flow. And what we could do again is we could bring this, this dress back. So I think I've gone a little too far here, but you can kind of get the idea. And because it's on a different layer, you can see it's not really affecting her legs. So that's a good thing. And it's actually bringing in some black and parts of her shoes. So what I'm gonna do is let me just finish this up. I'll go to one more uh, brush, I'll hit scatter. I'll turn it down, the tails, and I'll make this bigger too. And then I think we've got enough of her dress that we can actually make a shape of it. I think that's gonna work right there. Okay, so what I wanna do is, I've gone really too far here. So I'm gonna just reel this in a bit. So I'm gonna switch it to the D key, black and white, I'm on black. I'm gonna to go to a very large soft brush, 450, and I think I might even make it bigger. Now what I'm gonna do is just sort of paint this area out. Okay, so I'm on white on the black layer, and now I'm gonna just paint this out. And I wanna just kinda of shape this dress a little bit. So kind of just bringing it this way, as if it was just this big flowing dress that got kind of out of control on us here. And uh, 
And then I just want to take, these are her legs right here. So I just want to take those colors out. And now we've kind of created this kind of ball gown, it looks like, but in a dispersion technique. And then, you know, that's kind of interesting, I think. But, uh, you know, it's up to you. You can do whatever you want with this, right? Now that you know how to do it. All right, so that's it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. And check out the rest of my videos. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. All right, in just a second, a little subscribe link is going to pop up. Click on that to subscribe to my YouTube channel. To check out a couple of my other videos, just click to your right. There's one at the top. There's one at the bottom. And also, you should check out my free mini pro retouching tutorial. Click on the link that you see right now to check that out.